Hey man, it's me, Blake. Blake from Cali. This is great, man. Uh, it's pretty rare for me to get an opportunity to speak to the people, man. Uh, that's what's great about YouTube. Uh, you just like set up your camera and then it gets uploaded to the internet. And then like our minds in one collective place all get to see shared videos. I mean, that used to not be possible. Like when I was growing up, like we didn't have YouTube. And I feel, I feel jealous of kids today. Like I would be so much smarter than I am right now. Cause I think to myself, Blake, what if you could just like watch a documentary whenever you wanted? That wasn't possible when I was growing up. I know. Now, if you want to go a video, like you had to like find a way to obtain that video. But now everything's on the internet. Like, if you want to know about sushi, that's easy to find. Like, there's sites totally dedicated to sushi. There's also shared consciousness in what's known as a wiki. That's where people type in how they think, and they think about everything they know in their minds, and they download it into the keyboard, and then it gets uploaded into the cloud, and that becomes what is known as Wikipedia. So, like, there was a time when there was something called an encyclopedia, for real, you just have to look it up. And it was like a book, but like, it had to be finite. Like, there was only so many volumes, because there's only 26 letters in the alphabet, so that's how many volumes of knowledge you could have. And so, like, certain things would get cut out, like Tyrannosaurus Rex, he would be under D for dinosaurs. But there would be like no hyperlinks, right? So you'd only get like maybe a page of Tyrannosaurus. But the other night, I read about Tyrannosaurus Rex for like close to an hour and a half. Like one thing after another. And no one knows for sure about like what a Tyrannosaurus looks like. But some people say they look like birds. Man, there's birds outside my room. Those birds get me up so early. I don't get it, birds. Like, why don't you sleep? Like the sun is barely up. I don't get understand. Like, I sing songs, like, I play the guitar. Like, I make music too, and I'm like, birds, we should collaborate. One of these times we should just get together and make some music, but no, the birds are like, no. Ugh. Instead, the birds are like, hey, we're gonna do a solo act right now outside your room, Blake, and we're gonna wake you up at 8 a.m. Totally unfair, because I spent all night staying up watching Netflix. Oh yeah. Uh, Netflix has got some of the best documentaries. Have you ever seen Hero Dreams of Sushi? Yeah, Hero Dreams of Sushi, he's like, it's this dude who like lives in Tokyo and all he does is think about sushi. I get that. Cause like when I'm not mad at birds or like trying to figure out what kind of documentary to watch, I'm surfing waves. And waves are in my mind, but also in my heart, right? Like there's like this collective unconsciousness that we can all put together in one spot where like waves crashing on the beach are like my brain waves reaching out to you. It's a real thing. It's science, look it up. You can find it on Wikipedia. Anyway, so like, I like to think about surfing. Like, I crunch some crazy gnarls. Sometimes I ride my skateboard down to Long Beach. Oh man, it's great. Because everybody's there. And like, a skateboard is like what man is gonna evolve to. Like, there was a point where man like had to use his legs. But at one point, we're not gonna need legs anymore. Now, everybody's either gonna have a snowboard or wheels. That's a reality. It's science, check it out.